throw that. Okay, so we are looking at this parcel sent by my friend Venetia, also known as Chocolate Raisin Fury. I decided to start recording this from my Twitch to post on YouTube because this is fantastic. We have to we have to show this off. Amazing. Packing. Stunning. Pin. Even more so. God, I'm terrible at this. I am no makeup guru, that's for sure. Like I said, the color elements are not as embossed as much. So when you see this in real life, you have the crows and the gold that are elevated while the colors are pushed back. It is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I am beyond impressed with this. I can't even. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what to say. I don't want to ruin that. So they are going back to here until I find a appropriate place both to display them and to wear them because this is 100% class. I always have, like obviously as you know, I make things, I draw fan art, but when I'm out and about in public and I'm going to restaurants and whatever, I'm not a dress up in anime kind of person. I like wearing a little bit fancier clothing. I'm a weeb at home. I can be a little bit classy when I go out. So that is the kind of pin that I would like to wear when I'm out to a fancy restaurant or out for an occasion. Next to beautiful, we have two color variants. I'm actually going to take them out of the packing so you can see them properly. Otherwise, there will be a lot of reflection. I do apologize for the crinkling. It comes with the territory. Again, it's not just... Like, it's not enough that there's the lovely packing and all this detailing here and on the pin also comes with information about the pin as well, which, you know, it takes forethought and it takes effort and time and patience to think up stuff like that. And I feel that Venetia has definitely gone all the way with this. I am so beyond impressed. So here are the two pins. They are two dragons. This one here, because the colors might not pop as much as well as I hope, um, we have a um, blue and pink and white color scheme where here it's a blue with a yellow sun or moon in the background. I will try and read this as well. A dragon Greek mythology known as Laden or Ladon, depending on pronunciation, uh, may have given this constellation its name. Laden was the guardian of the golden apples of the Hesperdis, nymphs of the evenings, uh, of the evening, and was killed by Hercules during the twelve labors. Greco-Roman legend, however, dictates Draco as one of the Gigantes, I'm assuming in Italian Gigante, who battled the Olympic gods for ten years. Draco was slain by the goddess Minerva, and when she threw the dragon, it became twisted and froze off the North Celestial Pole. 
The reason why I'm stuttering to read this is because it is laid out in this beautiful card and my eyesight is shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need better glasses, essentially, is what I'm saying. But this, again, you need to see this a little bit better. My camera is not going to do this justice, but it is fantastic. So beautiful. I'm going to put those back real quickly. designed these pins. These pins were designed by um, Chocolate Raisin Fury, my friend Venetia. I will be reposting the link to her Instagram very shortly in the chat for those who want to have a look. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well, hitting a soft spot for me here. Um, we have a sun tiger and a moon tiger and pins like these my friends you have to buy in pairs you can't just buy the one because there is a very beautiful way how to wear these it's just so breathtaking honestly I, I follow her work religiously, but to see pins like this in person is just an overall different experience. So here we have a sun tiger and a moon tiger. They are absolutely gorgeous and they do come with one comes with two pins one comes with three but they both have a nice bottom um, pin there and what I would suggest with wearing something like this is having it at either side of a collar or either side of a shirt or a jacket and put a nice little chain between them from one to another to connect and it would look perfect. They're both in gold, so a golden chain, tiny little chain between the two would make this, it would make any outfit look absolutely brilliant and stellar. I know I'm talking from a fashion perspective, not just an art point of view, but to go to this level of detail and richness, it, this would deserve like proper display and proper showing off. You can't just leave this in a in a book or a case or a box. It needs to be displayed. It needs to be worn. I am absolutely gobsmacked. This is so good. So so good. Also when you go out and wear um, a pin like this, I can imagine that you do not want to lose it. And despite a lot of us pin makers, we send out our pins with rubber clutches or metal clutches. Um, those are not the pins. Uh, no, those are not the clutches that you want to use when you wear a pin. Please don't use those because um, while you're moving, 
while you're moving, the fabric is going like this with you because fabric, obviously, it flows. And slowly, the pin and the pin back start detaching because of the movement and it starts separating, separating and making space between them. What you need is a metal, um, metal pin or uh, metal pin back that has an Allen key lock to it. Look them up on Amazon. They're very cheap to get and you'll make sure not to lose your pin when you wear it out. Because I have lost a many in the beginning when I started collecting pins. Oh. Two more. Oh, wow. Just can't even, I can't, I can't. I can't even contain how blown away I am by these. Wow. Okay. So here we have... Firstly, I'm terrified. Locking pin back. I'm terrified of living pins. Exactly. That is exactly it. I am going to take this. To this we have a white celestial crow. There you can almost see the detailing in that way. So nice, so beautiful. And the details about this pin, if I can read, because my eyesight is shit. Corvus, meaning raven in Latin, is often associated with the Greek myth of Apollo and Corvus, his lover. Corvus was tasked with watching over Corvus, and when it told Apollo she had been unfaithful, Apollo burst into a fit of rage and turned its pure white feathers black. Corvus's brightest star, Gamma Corvi, is an aging blue giant, which is why it is colored blue instead of white in this design. Ah, oh, lovely. And it has, I don't know, you can't really capture it properly in this, but it has a lovely iridescent glitter effect going throughout it. It sparkles so beautifully. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm going to have to have this entire set. <laughs> Sorry, Venetia. I'm coming for your pins. <laughs> Let's see if I can put that back properly. Yes. Oh my god. Next we have childhood favorite for anyone who watched anime in the 90s, more or less. And it is a Pegasus pin. And here it says Pegasus was regarded to be the child of Medusa and Poseidon and has been told in many different ways throughout Greek mythology. Some stories say they carried the thunderbolts of Zeus. Others say they carried Persis on its back. Pegasus is the seventh largest constellation in the sky and its brightest star, Enif, is derived from the Arab Ar Arabic word nose, as it is located on Pegasus' nose. And that is why the design here has the large star on the nose. Those wings look absolutely freaking stunning. I love that here she filled it in with gold rather than leave an engravement in. Absolutely perfect. So well done. So, so well done. Like these need to be in a professional shop or something. 
not that our artist shops aren't professional shops, but you know what I mean, like proper artisanal craft. She is a queen and deserves more than a web store. That's what I'm getting at. Oh. Lovely little envelope and another envelope. I feel like I should leave these for last. Actually, let, let's open the arts first. I'm going to leave the lovely envelope for last because it looks super, super exquisitely packed. Oh my gosh, everything is so nice. Oh my god, guys, look. Well, I just showed my prints and now I'm showing these. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But, uh, yeah. So, we have beautiful, beautiful gold foil of the Moon Tiger here. And a matching gold foil Sun Tiger there. And the Pegasus in black. Now the lovely thing about this is that they're in blue and my one of the blue and gold and one of my colors here in the apartment is um, blue and gold, one of the color schemes. So I can actually put these up, which is extra, extra fantastic. Oh my God, all these pins are so beautiful and huge. They are absolutely, absolutely stunners. Venetia has grown into a massive force. And you know what? She doesn't have the following she deserves. She has like 7,000 people on her Instagram. Like, come on. We can do better than that. Humans. Okay, I'm going to leave that for last. More pins! And by the way, these look like bags, but I don't think they are. I think they're actually wrapped pretty perfectly. Here's the wolf boys! Wolves and foxes. Because... That is what Venetia is known for. Okay, so let's start. Oh, so many, so many pretty ones. Okay, so we have two and two, both variants. Lizzie, can I get away with? No, it gets too shiny. These two beautiful wolf pins. Oh, you can actually see the glitter on these, which is lovely. They are stunning. Two color schemes. This you can't see properly. This is a nice, um, like a daisy yellow, like a really nice soft yellow. Very, very nice. And here we have, in Greek mythology, Canis Major was associated with the Lelops. I wish I could pronounce these properly. A magical dog fated to catch whatever it chased. 
Amphitryon, Amphitryon set lay laps, I think, upon the Canis Minor, and due to their opposing fates, they were caught in an endless paradox. When Zeus was forced with this paradox, was faced with this paradox, he turned them into stone and cast them into the stars. Oh, that's sad. Also, Zeus, why are you a dick? I mean, he is, but he's also like <laughs> daddy god. <laughs> so to match this, we have love them. Yes, definitely love them. Obviously, this wasn't a very planned video, which is now 20 minutes long. And that's why there's a chat, there's roses, there's everything on it. But I hope you can still appreciate these beautiful pins my friend made and sent me. These, this is the other one. Oops, where are we going? So pretty. That is so magnificent. Absolutely love this one. And here we have... In Greek mythology, Canis, um, Canis Minor was associated with the Tumetian fox. A vixen. Or a Cadmean vixen. A huge fox fated to never be caught. Ah, there you go. And then when uh, when the god sent Canis Major upon this fox, due to their opposing fates, they were caught in an endless paradox. When, Z when Zeus was faced with this paradox, he turned them into stone and cast them into the stars. It is absolutely lovely. And they come as a dark pair, which again, you can wear with a chain. I love my, my little chain trick to pair pins on an outfit. They look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to have that set? Right? And then there's the blue set. Right there. I really need better lighting for these pins. Stunning, stunning. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't even. Mm -mm -mm. There aren't enough words to describe how cool these are. So, let's start putting these boys away, and then I can open the major here. Yes. Can open the envelope. See what the last surprise is in this freebie war between me and my dear friend Venetia. So what do you guys think that unwrapping ASMR? Oh, I'm sorry for all the crinkling. What do you guys think of this work? I think she is an absolute champion. Honestly, I have seen many, many, many pin makers so far. But this is just 
this level of pin making, the the colors and the the art and, and the detailing that goes in it, it's just not fan stuff. It's elegant. It's proper jewelry. I think it's absolutely stunning. Very, very stylish. I could not agree more. Last but not least, I am opening this lovely little thing here. How special is that? <gasps> stickers! I love stickers. How beautiful is that packing? I love that. Damn. I like that for my stickers to send out to people. Okay. So many. So we have the Corvus, the Crow, beautiful, Canis Major, in hollow. Hollow stickers just absolutely stunning. Look at those radiant colors on it. She has very beautiful work, I could not agree more. Canis Minor. You can see all the detail of the line art now. We have Pegasus. I have a dear place for Pegasus in my heart, not because of Omni Sailor Moon, but also Saint Seiya. Pegasus in the 90s was such an iconic thing to have in anime, not only mythology. So kind of grew up with all the Pegasus love. We have the dragon, Draco, which we saw as a pin earlier as well. We have, I'm going to keep this one for later. We have this amazing um, tiger hollow and I don't know if you noticed, but there is actually some white print there and I'm pretty sure that that white print will be transparent and when you put the sticker onto something it will take the background color as well and it will integrate this design into whatever is behind it. This will be absolutely beautiful done up and, and added onto anything. This is the, sorry, Moon Tiger that we saw earlier as well, both as a print and as a pin. And <laughs> we see here, oh, there's so much more stuff. Okay, one of my favorite wolves um, in gaming history has to be Amaterasu. And she has made such a beautiful rendition of this character. There's so much detail, detailing there. And this sticker is just breathtaking. The tail alone. Well done. In the other set that we have here, there's also this beautiful wolf. Stunning. He is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we have, because she knows I am absolutely obsessed. Oh, there's another version of the Draco here, which is the pink and I kind of, I, I low-key love that these are the trans flag colors. I'm sorry. You think I'm, I, I always harp about LGBTIQ stuff, but this is just perfection. Yes, that goes there. And then we have... Oh, this goes with our other tiger here. So this is a set of two. 
we have Evie, which was one of her original uh, pin sets that uh, I kept encouraging to be made as pins. We have Vaporeon and Sylveon as constellations as well. Honestly, just absolutely beautiful. And I can see here the hollow is only on some parts. You see how here you're on, you're seeing that all of this is hollow foil? It isn't. Just so you know. The level of detail that you're seeing here in this part here. Oh, maybe now you can see it properly. The hollow is also in those little thin details. So when you see this in person, when you purchase this, which you should, I'm just saying, um, the hollow is really, really fine and detailed. And I do think that this one also would show some background color. Or maybe not, but still, it looks absolutely stunning. I can't stop looking at the hollow. It looks absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm blown away. I can't even like psh. there's nothing but good things to say about this thank you so much Venetia for this first round in our gift war I am going to have to beyond up my game here <laughs> I don't <laughs> how do you compete with this how okay I am going to put these back Fantastic. This has been a lovely experience. Thank you, Venetia. And I'm next. <laughs>